Hello, my name is Ralph Papa from PapaGallery.com, and today we're learning about acrylic painting. Let's talk about acrylic paint. You know, what's it made of, and what's it good for? How long has it been around? Well, first off, I'm going to tell you, it wasn't until 1955 when acrylic paint was really invented or being used at all. So it's really in our lifetime that we start to see it, and it's really made from poly or it's a chemical chain that's like a polyethylene base plastic. Plastic, I like to think of. It has a long, complicated name in its uh, chemical name. But it's a, a base that you mix a pigment together with it in that polymer base, and that's what gives it the color. And then all you need is water to mix with it to transport it to the canvas. When the water dries out, the pigment sticks to the canvas and it becomes almost permanent. Think great that, about acrylic paint. It's really very, very permanent, and it's very good to work on almost any surface with it. So it's a wonderful material, and again, it's rather new, so we're still learning for its uses today. It's uh, permanent. If you get it on your clothes, you're not going to get it off there unless you get it off right away with some water and take it out. Uh, acrylic is very versatile, a lot of colors in it, and it's, uh, I'd say, as big as the oil business is with the oil paints today, and it's very versatile. The only difficulty with acrylic is if it gets below 45 degrees in temperature, there's a tendency to crack. So you really don't want to keep your acrylic paintings in the cold or transport them in the cold because you're taking a chance that it could crack on you at later times. But other than that, it's very versatile, very color fast, and a wonderful material to paint in. It does dry fast, but if you can put in some retardants with it, you can uh, with, with, uh, hold the drying for up to several hours on it, and it works very nicely. Here's an example of an acrylic painting, and in this case, uh, you're really just working with water and the acrylics, either out of tubes or out of jars, and uh, you'll work with it very intuitively. If I paint the background first in a blue, and then I do the foreground, and then I'll mix my colors to get the horse and the riders, and basically it's very easy and it dries right away. It'll be done in a couple of hours.